I'm delighted to be here uh, supporting uh, your MPP, Lisa McLeod's initiative uh, of a private member's bill, even though I'm in a neighboring riding. <coughs> Stuck. When we moved to Ottawa three and a half years ago, I only did, I didn't set a Guinness's Book of Records, but it was close. I only did one year out of 36 years uh, in the military serving in Ottawa. We refer to it as capital punishment. <laughs> <laughs> we avoided it as much as possible. But it's sort of curious that the center three provinces, Manitoba, Quebec, and Ontario, are the only three that don't formally recognize the 11th of November as a statutory holiday, although Nova Scotia's come sort of partway. They have a Remembrance Day Act, and it's, it's voluntary for businesses, and because it's Nova Scotia, the majority of them allow their, their persons the day off to attend ceremonies. So we're very close to a national statutory holiday. We only have five, if I remember correctly, Christmas, New Year's, Good Friday, Labor Day, and Canada Day. And ultimately, presumably, we will, we will soon get to the point of a national statutory holiday. Now, there's been some, there's been some comments from, in the case of the Legion, the provincial level command, that they don't like the idea. And I think we have to accept that they made that decision or that recommendation, I don't think it was a collective one, based on bad information. Because their reasoning is, and the reasoning of a number of people I've encountered as I've been speaking to the media, is that it would take the young people away from the ceremony on the 11th of November in their school. Now let me assure you that in my entire lifetime, I have never seen the attention that teachers and communities are expending on their young people and the response, the positive response of the young people in this country. I get brown envelopes sent to me from schools across the country saying, hey John McKenzie, what do you think about this for Remembrance Week? Comrades, it is an absolute humbling moment for me to be here today with Major General Lewis McKenzie, uh, one of Canada's greatest peacekeepers, someone that I know current military uh, and, uh, and past military look up to. He's somebody that Canadians from coast to coast admire, and the fact that he is here supporting my private member's bill uh, has me with goosebumps. So thank you, Major General. It is an absolute pleasure, and I'm very humbled.